Hello everybody watching at home, this is Walking and Talking with Phoenix and today, it's Foodle for your noodle, is reincarnation. What about it? So, there's this book I read called Journey of Souls by Michael Newton. Journey of Souls. Very good book. Basically, this guy's a clinical therapist and hypno hypnotist. Did this job for 30, 36 years. Very black and white, logical man. Didn't believe in religion, superstition, afterlife, all of this. And one day when he was, had a client, he was trying to find this pain that the client was experiencing using hypnosis. And when he you know, couldn't find it, he asked the guy to go straight to the source of the pain. And suddenly he found this guy spilling on the story of a past life where he was on a chariot and he got speed in the side. And that's where the pain comes from because it's stuck in his ethereal body. Anyway, this piqued the guy's curiosity for a while, but he didn't look further more into it. He just resumed his, his normal hypnosis, whatever, counseling. And then it happened again with another, with another person. He found that instead of going back into that life, this time he didn't actually go back into another life, but he went to that space and that place in between lives. And he was actually able to extract information from this client regarding what happens when you die before you're, you're reincarnated. At this point, the guy became very interested and he didn't let go and he started specifically interviewing people and hypnotizing them to find information regarding what happens when you die before you're reincarnated. And he wrote a book on it. And the book's made up of about 25 different cases and interviews and it's only question for answer, question for answer, all this information of all these interviews and basically what this guy does, Michael Newton, is he correlates all the different points and ideas that are expressed. He finds the consistent themes and ideas and concepts and then he maps it out from beginning to end, all the different stages that we go through when we die. I'm not going to go through it all now because I, you know, I don't want to rub away anything from the book and I think it's, it's really good to read. I was in a place of nihilism before where I thought life was meaningless and pointless and what's the point? You know, we're all alone in a, in a world of manipulation and cruelty and suffering. Um, but then after reading this, I actually found myself able to grasp, grasp hope and maybe see a bigger picture and think maybe there is some more meaning underlining everything. Maybe this is all is leading up to something. Maybe everything I do and don't do actually does matter. So Journey, for, uh, journey of Souls, Michael Newton, check it out. I will sum it up in a nutshell what the idea is in this book overall. Basically, this is a game. This is my own, my own uh, metaphor interpretation. But in principle, it's what the book portrays. This is basically a game, the game of life, and we're all playing. It's like an RPG. You know, you get to develop your statistics and your attributes of who you are as a soul. And Basically, once you finally build up your stats enough and, so to speak, perfect your character or your soul, because you know, it's just like PlayStation, you know, you know, you can have different characters in a game, but it's all under the same username. Same as, you know, we all have different bodies that we go through in different lifetimes, all under the same username or same soul. So once that user gets enough, I don't know, trophies or develop, develops his overall accumulative statistics and attributes, and achieves perfection, so to speak, masters the game, so to speak, then he is able to transcend the game and join Team God and actually be part of the designing team. You know, the very forces which govern, cause and effect, and help the game unfold in all its specific instances. And that's basically the idea that we have to play the game before we can have this power to be like, to join God, basically. And God is, is, is explained as a collective, you know, of various fragments of energy and light all working together to govern this existence. And you can imagine that's a lot of power and responsibility to govern existence. So no wonder you have to play the game first over and over and over again until you finally master it and beat it, until you finally prove yourself worthy and responsible enough with the wisdom and the tact and all the knowledge you need to actually join the designing team and have control, true control, over how everything unfolds. Um, and that's the basic idea, guys. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want more food for your noodle, check out the other videos.
And yeah, remember to check out this book. It's really fruitful and really inspiring. Michael Newton's Journey of Souls. Um, there's also audiobooks if you look online. And yeah, keep keep playing at it. Do your best. You're probably going to come back several times and try to balance out your statistics. But one day I believe that we will all, for the most part, transcend this game, if that's really what you want to do. And yeah, and then we can get our hands in the mix and actually controlling all the awesomeness that is life and actually contributing to life and maybe the storyline and the plots that we are living out as players. One day you'll be able to ride out yourself. Now that's an intriguing concept.